I'd like to call this board meeting of the Scranton School Board of Directors to order. I'll rise for a pledge of allegiance. <laughs> Roll call, please. Mr. Casey. Mr. Dunahill. Here. Mr. Dwighty. Present. Mr. Martin. Here. Mr. McKinder. Present. Mrs. Oleski. Here. Dr. Long. Here. Mr. Sheridan. Here. Mr. Sheridan. Here. Mr. Here. Communications to the board, Attorney Menor. <laughs> Uh, yes, both uh, last week during the work session and today we talked about uh, uh, personnel and real estate. Visiting delegations. We have Gerard Hetman from Lackawanna County. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the Scranton School Board. I'm Gerard Hetman from Lackawanna County's Community Relations Department. Uh, good to see you as always. I know it's a long night tonight, so I'll promise I'll be brief. Uh, just a couple of housekeeping notes. First, um, we did some reorganization for our department with the start of the new year. And now on out, starting this month, we come back with every other regular meeting uh, per month of the school board. So I'm here now, and then for March, I have to get a different set of meetings the first Monday. And I'll be back in April, and we'll go on like that. Um, if the meeting moves, on the direction, then if it's not that I can make it, I will in those off months. But for your regularly scheduled meetings, I'll be here every other month. And of course, I will be accessible always by phone, email, whatever you need. And uh, look forward to continue working with you in this capacity. Just again, we're trying to make sure we serve all the municipalities and school districts. That's what we have to have. Uh, second item is I just like to acknowledge whoever's been running through our district social media accounts. And we have a Facebook page and a Twitter account for the Scranton School District. And during the recent water uh, disruption, we were able to share information on the Lackawanna County Facebook page and through the Lackawanna County Twitter account. We have just over 2,000 likes on the Facebook page for Lackawanna County and over 2,000 Twitter followers. So we were really able to, to share the information in a quick and efficient manner when it came up uh, regarding school closings. So I acknowledge this to the board and friends <coughs> running that information for you the district. So thank you. Uh, just a couple items that we'll leave with you. Um, we're probably not thinking much about parks and recreation. It's cold out. Mm -hmm. But a couple of good items. First, we do have a schedule that I'll leave this for. You can distribute in the district of all of the upcoming parks and recreation department camps and clinics and programs that come up in 2014. <coughs> a variety of different ones for adults and, of course, many for children. Our uh, first one is actually held in the district facility. It's the Winter Golf Clinic. It's held in South Scranton Intermediate School. And it's a long-running partnership with County Parks and Rec Department and District. Um, thank you as always for your cooperation with that. And we do have a specific flyer about that program. And we'll distribute those flyers to the or to the board as they come up throughout the year. Uh, we do have a centralized schedule that we leave with you. Um, and then this is not a specific program, but it's a facility now that we're available at the Dave Park. A long time, and probably a lot of us have done this. Uh, people kind of stay right in there over the years on the big hill and back in the coal mine tour. But there's never a designated area for that, never a safe spot where children and adults can go sleigh riding. Now the Park and Department has actually built a sleigh riding, sledding, snow tubing section at the park. So children and adults can do it safely and it's all marked off. It's just across the second of the pavilion, right next to the 9-11 memorial. No fee, uh, no specific hours. We just ask the visitors to obey the posted rules and regulations of the park as they will with any other activity that takes place there. Um, and then also we'll leave you our release on our new Code Blue uh, Cold Weather Alert Program. This is something that actually I uh, and some of the other department members noticed being done in other counties. Um, it's a cold weather awareness initiative. It's designed to raise awareness when it's freezing cold temperatures, share out the most information with citizens, and also make them aware of the locations of emergency shelters for those who may be less fortunate in our area. I won't go through all the details, but we'll leave the information with you. And this is kind of my baby, so you can ask any questions after the meeting. And then lastly, we have a lot of people have asked us about this because we have one in the first floor of the courthouse. Uh, there's a location for a med return drop-off box for prescription drugs and medications that are unused and are needed anymore. Uh, there's one there, and then also the Carbondale and South Avenue Police Departments also have these safe return boxes. It's part of the new Healthy PA initiative launched from the State Department of Health. 
And there are some guidelines here on Monday through Friday, 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, people can drop off their unused prescription medications, and they do have to go through a kind of a procedure. Something that you might want to share with the district because we do have a box right here in Scranton, and we all have unused prescription drugs laying around the house. Good, safe, environmentally friendly way to dispose of those. So that's all I have for this evening. And thank you as always, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Next, we have Bob McGough from Scranton City Council. Good evening. Hello, Mr. Uh, Bob McGough, uh, Scranton City Council. Uh, first, I'd like to uh, congratulate the newly elected and uh, appointed members of the Scranton School Board. Um, and uh, good luck in your endeavors. Um, I came here tonight just to, uh, I guess I'm on a little bit of a goodwill tour. Um, nothing specific, but uh, being an educator for 35 years, I think that I have, uh, I'm kind of aware of some of the challenges that, you know, the Scranton School, School District and the Scranton School Board faces, and I know you as citizens of the city of Scranton are very aware of the challenges that we, you know, in the, the city face. And all I'm here to say is that hopefully, we can work together to meet these mutual challenges that we have. And I just wanted to let you know that, you know, we are available if there is ever anything that you need from the city, and I hope that we can keep lines of communication open with the Scranton School District so that as we meet these mutual problems or challenges, um, that we can work together to resolve them. Um, I'm also here, uh, Mr. Dave Bolzoni accompanied me here tonight. Uh, Mr. Bolzoni is the new business administrator for the city of Scranton. And uh, uh, he too uh, just wanted to be here to say that, you know, he's, he's on board and, uh, you know, open to, open to, uh, you know, any help that you may have. And uh, as I said, the uh, lines of communication open and hopefully um, we can continue to do good things and to promote the welfare of the citizens of, and the children in the city of Scranton. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. And best of luck to you as uh, the council president. That's all we have on the sign-in sheet. So now we will hear from the PTA representative. Good evening. Um, everyone. I have just a few things tonight. I want to bring your attention to the invitations that are at your seats for the reflection dinner on March 9th, Sunday uh, at 4.30, 5 o'clock. Um, just to recognize our students in the, the National PTA's Reflections Program. So it's music, dance, visual arts. The students are the winners there from the area council, some of whom will be going on to uh, regions and sometimes states uh, competition. So, Indications. Uh, and King, yours is there also. <laughs> um, secondly, I wanted to just express the council PTA's kind of disappointment in the loss of the tutoring program that had been talked about with Lackawanna College. I know Whittier and Bancroft were to benefit from that program. I understand that it has fallen through. Um, and so I just wanted to say that we are greatly disappointed in another tutoring program that happening. Um, However, that kind of leads into the third that uh, the area council is now working on the groundwork. We started collecting names of interested parents in starting and establishing these academic support and advocacy <coughs> committees on our local unit so that we can draw in parents who are more interested in the education aspect of uh, their schools, um, kind of striving towards excellency. We hope we can be a voice for you um, as we kind of grow and develop this uh, community uh, that we haven't had so far hasn't been the focus of the PTAs up until now, and we're hoping to draw some community in that. Um, so we're working on that. And then, as always, just you're always invited to our meetings, the next one being February 20th, Thursday evening, at the Stranton High School at 7 o'clock in the evening. Thank you. In the cafeteria, right? In the, well, now it's in the library, okay. sorry. I actually have Stranton High School Library, now that the coach is <coughs> at the library. Thank you. Back to the uh, 
boardroom are student representatives and we have a representative from both West Scranton and Scranton High School. Thank you for coming. Right. Hi, my name is Taylor Stetzer, and I'm class president at Scranton High School. Hello, my name is Laura Kaczynski, and I'm the student council president at Scranton High School. But, yeah. um, there are lots of wonderful things happening at Scranton High School recently, and we'd like to share some of them with you. Student volunteers at Scranton have raised over $5,000 for coaches versus cancer over the course of the past month. Over 150 seniors have already been accepted to colleges, and more acceptances are expected within the next few months. Junior Alex Tomlinson received the Gold Key Award for his art por portfolio at Northeast Pennsylvania Scholastic Art Competition. Also, six orchestra members are moving on to the <coughs> Regional Forum um, Orchestra Competition. Um, many exciting things are planned for the month of February at Scranton High School. On Friday, Scranton High will host West Scranton for their basketball team's second matchup of the season. This Saturday, Scranton High School will be holding its annual Frosty Frolic semi-formal at Pier Alley. Over 400 students will be in attendance. Wednesday, February 12th, the Scranton High School Night Rhythms will present Cabaret. This year, it features selections made famous by boy dance. Also, Marywood has selected Scranton High School to perform their children's theater program. Over 1,000 elementary school students from around the area will come to see the show. This is the first time Marywood will be performing this program off campus. It is truly an honor for Scranton High School to be chosen to host this event. Scranton High is really such an awesome place to be at, and we can't possibly fill you in on all the wonderful things that are happening. However, we invite all of you to come experience firsthand what a wonderful school we live in, and we thank you for supporting us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Paul Mulliani. I serve as senior class president at West Scranton High School. And I'm Kayla Palmer, and I'm the student council president. And we also have many students accepted to colleges already. And the two that we are most proud of so far are from Daniel Rakowski and Larissa Kane. They're both accepted to Ivy League schools, both Cornell. Um, like Scranton, we had a Coaches vs. Cancer um, uh, fundraiser, and we, uh, in total, raised. Uh, Forty-five hundred dollars. Um, we did that by selling ribbons throughout the school, and we had a blue bar campaign, and we're really proud of that. We also have students in our band, orchestra, and chorus that are participating in the PMEA regionals and districts, and they're going to be competing very soon. We're very proud of them. One of the programs that our school created this year is our pride program. It pr um, promotes school-wide positive behavior, and students seen promoting um, good behavior are rewarded. This month from January, we have two students, Bailey Smith and Colin Kelly. Um, they were recently awarded as students of the month. Um, recently, our mock trial team just competed against Carbondale. Uh, the Best Advocate Award was presented to myself, and the Best Witness Award was presented to Caitlin Tokash. And our other side of our mock trial team is competing tomorrow night at the courthouse against Holy Cross. And this Friday, we are actually going to have a dress down day for Kent State Spawn. All the benefits will go towards their cancer research uh, charity for children. Thank you. 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 Solicitor's report. I would add in uh, under communications to the board, I, I failed to mention that we also discuss litigation matters and I thought that that was significant enough to mention uh, under solicitors report I, I did want the board to know that we have been meeting with the uh, teachers union and the paraprofessionals per the legal requirements in the lower I'm not going to discuss this any of the specifics of that you know those negotiations are ongoing and uh, and and we're and we're uh, we're hopeful that we can we can reach a resolution uh, along those lines in, in addition I, I think I did advise the board that uh, that we uh, were able to extend the uh, real estate deadline on the on the uh, uh, Army Reserve property. Well, we continue to study that matter. Other than that, I have no no uh, other issues to discuss at this time. Superintendent's report, Mr. Sure. Kip. I, I have a special resolution that I'd like to read. Uh, it is a recommendation of Superintendent of Schools that the following resolution be approved. Whereas the role of locally elected school officials has served the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and local communities to meeting the needs of public education since the passage of the Preschool Act in 1834. And whereas, the Scranton School Board of Directors has discharged its responsibilities 
and public education in a manner which has placed the Scranton School District in the forefront of our education system. And whereas these elected officials have distinguished themselves in the Scranton community in this non-paid volunteer public service commitment, and whereas the contributions of these men and women should be recognized and appreciated by those who benefit from the workings of our public school system. <laughs> now therefore, be it resolved that the administration, faculty, students, and staff of the Scranton School District, as well as the entire Scranton community, join with the Executive Board of the Transmitting School Board Association, and hereby proclaim the month of January as the School Director Recognition Month in Scranton and the Dr. Commonwealth respectfully submitted. And I have um, certificates for each of our board members tonight, so I thought it was important to try to recognize all of you tonight. So. Thank you, Mr. King. Thank you, and thank you for everything you do for the school district. Thank you. I have a motion for the consent agenda items 11 through, uh, through 15. Second. On the question, roll call. Mr. Dunningham? Yes. Mr. Dwight? Yes. Mr. Martinelli? Yes. Mr. McAndrew? Yes. Mrs. Oleski? Yes. Dr. Long? Yes. Mr. Sheridan? Yes. Mrs. McGuigan? Yes. Yes. Okay, now to the non-consent agenda under education, Director Duwaki. Bear, bear with me. 10B2. 10B1. 10B2. It is the recommendation of the Education Committee that the following resolution be approved. Whereas the Scranton School District realizes the importance of regularly revisiting district curriculum to ensure that it meets the needs of our students and to ensure that it prepares all students to be career and college ready. And whereas the Scranton School District recognizes that the Pennsylvania Department of Education has mandated that all schools in the Commonwealth align their curriculum to, ref to reflect the Pennsylvania Common Core State Standards. And whereas, the members of the Math Curriculum Committee in the School District of the City of Scranton have aligned the required math courses to the Pennsylvania Common Core State Standards. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Scranton School District adopt the Secondary Mathematics Curriculum Pathways, reflecting the newly aligned Pennsylvania Common Core standards, State Standards courses for the 2014-2015 school year and beyond, respectively submitted. Second. On the question, hearing none, roll call. Mr. Dwighty? Yes. Mr. Martinelli? Yes. Mr. McAndrew? Yes. Mrs. Oleski? Yes. Dr. Ruan? Yes. Mr. Shannon? Yes. Mr. Dunning? Yes. Mrs. McGuigan? Yes. Eight affirmative. <coughs> Labor Relations, Director Martinelli. Yes. The members of the Board of Directors, it is the recommendation of the Labor Relations Committee that the following resolution be approved. Whereas it has been proposed that the single tax office collective bargaining agreement passed by the Board of Directors at the May 2013 board meeting be rescinded in its entirety. Therefore, it be resolved that the school district of the city of Scranton does hereby rescind the collective bargaining agreement of the single tax office that was approved at the May 2013 board meeting. I so move. Second. On the question, um, Mr. Menor, do you just want to touch on yeah, I, I will. any I'll differences between this one? Well, I, 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 I won't touch on the, on the differences, but I, I will explain why, why, why the change okay. occurred. Okay, basically what, what happened was we passed um, the uh, collective bargaining agreement uh, with, the, with the city not passing it. And uh, apparently it looks like they've uh, extended the contract, I think, from three to five years, you know, and, and 
Yeah, and there's a, you know, of course, a two-year freeze in the first uh, beginning of the contract. But uh, 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 with with the uh, with the uh, five-year term, it appears that the city will approve it, and uh, we do have a two-year wage freeze. Thank you. Roll call. Mr. Martinelli. Yes. Mr. McAndrew. Yes. Mrs. Oleski. Yes. Dr. Irwin. Yes. Mr. Sheridan. Yes. Mr. Dunahill. Yes. Mr. Dwayne. Yes. Mrs. McGuigan? Yes. Thank you. To the members of the Board of Directors, it is a recommendation of the Labor Relations Committee that the following resolution be approved. Whereas it has been proposed that the single tax office collective bargaining agreement that's proposed be accepted, subject to the City of Scranton approving the collective bar bargaining agreement. Therefore, it be resolved that the school district of the City of Scranton does hereby approve the, correct, the collective bargaining agreement of the single tax office if it is approved by the city of Scranton. I so move. Second. Second. On the question, roll call. Mr. McAndrew? Yes. Mr. Gillespie? Yes. Dr. Ryan? Yes. Mr. Sheridan? Yes. Mr. Dunningham? Yes. Mr. Dwighty? Yes. Mr. Martinelli? Yes. Mrs. McGuigan? Yes. David Fernando? <coughs> Thank you. Director Oleski, personnel, 10J4. It is a recommendation of the superintendent of schools and the individuals of the listed below be appointed to the professional positions of the Scranton School District as per listed. Respectively submitted. Second. On the question, roll call. Mrs. Oleski? Yes. Dr. Rowan? Yes. Mr. Sheridan? Yes. Mr. Dunhill? Yes. Mr. Dwighty? Yes. Mr. Martinelli? Yes. Mr. McCandrew? Yes. Mrs. McGuigan? Yes. It It is the recommendation of the personnel committee that the following be appointed and approved. Susan Kobolinski. Personnel care attendant accompanying a child at the Jefferson Center. The appointment is effective upon the receipt of the proper federal and criminal records, medical and child abuse records. Salary is accordance to the appropriate salary schedule. Respectfully, yours. Submitted. Second. Okay. On the question, roll call. Dr. Ruan? Yes. Mr. Sheridan? Yes. Mr. Dunham? Yes. Mr. Dwighty? Yes. Mr. Martinelli? Yes. Mr. McAndrew? Yes. Mrs. Oleski? Yes. Mrs. McGuigan? Yes. State affirmative. Buildings and Grounds Director Donahue? Um, as regarding this uh, agenda item, I would like to make a motion that we table it until we get some further information based on what was discussed in the Budget and Finance Committee meeting earlier. Second the motion to favor. Second the motion. On the question. And what's the reason that over here for me I'd like to know a reason why we're in there. there I mean, we the reason that we were is one to get to be able to get a cost assessment before we approve the project. <coughs> and also there's some issues with zoning and variances that we were given when we built the project that we have to make sure that those aren't an issue with what the project is is going to be. Okay, so we're, but we're going to. We're it's just going to be tabled just until we can get some more information regarding those subjects. Okay, because this has been a long time coming for Woody or so. Yes, and it's it's, it's fine. Just, it's all yes, yeah. pretty quickly. Okay. Roll call, Mr. Sheridan. Yes. Mr. Dunhill. Yes. Mr. Dwighty. Yes. Mr. Martinelli. Yes. Mr. McAndrew. Yes. Mrs. Oleski. Yes. Dr. Irwin. Yes. Mrs. McGuigan. Yes. Eight affirmative. Special Education Director Oleski. Whereas the pursuit of 22 PA Code Section 14, school districts may expand said funds and provide such said programs and services either by direct services or through the arrangements of other agencies. And whereas pursuit to 22 PA Code Section 14 of the Scranton School District is required to specify 
which, if any, services will be provided by contract with immediate units to the agencies, and whereas the district to conclude and determine that the programs of these services below listed can be efficiently and economically operated <coughs> and contract, I'm losing my voice, I'm sorry, of the Northeastern Educational Intermediate Unit, unit NEIU, for provision of the same. Be it therefore resolved that this attached contract with NEIU for provision of special education programs and services of specific within hereby approved by the 2014-2015 school year and thereof until ex expiration of the accordance of this term thereof. Respectively submitted. Second. Second. On the question, roll call. Mr. Dunningham? Yes. Mr. Dwight? Yes. Mr. Martinelli? Yes. Mr. McKinnon? Yes. Mr. Gillespie? Yes. Mr. Sheridan? Yes. Mr. Sheridan? Yes. Mr. McGuigan? Yes. Eight affirmative. Under the President's report, I just want to thank everybody that is at the meeting tonight for your patience while we work through figuring out how to run our new committee meetings forward. We ran over tonight and we apologize for that. And thanks to your patience. New business. Hearing none, can I have a motion for adjournment? Motion to adjourn. Thank you. Thank you.